I love that you chose a 1999 uh, Jeep Wrangler. Um, I, I love the Wranglers. I especially love kind of that generation. What, why'd you pick a 1999 Jeep Wrangler to electrify? You might be a little bit surprised, yeah. but this is me going back now to Austria, growing up and watching the TV show Gilmore Girls. And in this show, they have this Jeep, a 99 Jeep Wrangler in the Sahara color. And I just love the show. And for me, it was always like, oh, yeah, this is how how um, American people live. Yes. And I, I just love it. And then I came here and never even had a car before in Europe. It, mm -hmm. You know, in my hometown, you would use public transportation. You wouldn't really need a car. But when I moved to the U.S., I realized, OK, distances are a little bit larger. You really need a car here there was no electric car that i liked so i thought i actually we were we were working with my husband on a car and i was like hey do you think we can electrify a, a jeep he's yeah. like sure <laughs> <laughs> and, yeah. so wow. then uh, we did the linkedin post actually and we said hey we're looking for a 1990 wrangler anybody knows of anybody um who wants to sell it and a couple months later we got the jeep and we started the journey you know and it's quite exciting because nobody has really done this before. You can't like Google it or look it up. And yeah. so we really tried to figure out everything by ourselves. Very cool. Well, thank God for the Gilmore Girls and for using a Sahara colored uh, 1999 Jeep Wrangler within the series so that we could benefit uh, now in, in 2023 from getting to watch you uh, electrify the Jeep Wrangler. Um, that, that's incredible. And, and Jeep has such an amazing community. As, as I shared, I'm a big fan of, of Jeep. I've, I've owned a few Jeeps. I, I have a 97 uh, Jeep Cherokee myself that, that I've had for 20 years and and i love it and and one thing that that i enjoy about it is that jeep has has a community have you seen that as you selected the jeep wrangler to electrify i'm, I'm sure you've piqued some interest within the jeep community about about what you're doing absolutely you know i didn't grow up with anything like this jeep mentality yeah i i didn't do it for the jeep brand but mm -hmm. as soon as i went out there and shared the project I started getting part of this community and it's amazing. Mm -hmm. um, again, like we started this two years ago and I was expecting people, um, maybe not all of them, you know, it's quite a polarizing topic, especially for the Jeep community, yeah. you know, Jeep as a brand, um, it's all about, you know, going off road and, you know, engine sounds and being free and the, the spirit. So, Definitely, we had some pushback in the beginning, but people then realized, okay, we're doing it the right way from a technical perspective. Yeah. We're really keeping the original functionality, like the selectable two-wheel drive, four-wheel drive. We kept the stock transfer case. So then, after all, we really got a huge appreciation from from the Jeep community. So it's it's really nice to see. Yeah. I love to hear that. And, and you did that. I think you kind of kept, you know, what was best and kind of capabilities of the Jeep Wrangler that people love so much, but uh, have improved it, you know, with electrifying it. So this is, is kind of like the best Jeep ever now. So